Okay. The hand plate should be next to the banana split for some reason. Okay. So, this is a chicken lady. This is a banana split thing. And these are all couples. There's a guy eating fish. Okay, so, in that case, there's only, based on how they're sitting, okay, how do I phrase this? The fish eating man next to her implies that it's not her husband. <laughs> God damn it. This lady's a fish. Um, the hell is this guy ham? Well, she's a ham. Is he a burger? He must be a burger. Right? I mean, that makes sense. He's an onion. This guy must be representing a burger, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. He doesn't look like a hamburger at all. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, nobody got things that resemble their spouses. This is difficult. Oh my god. There's so many people to consider here. Okay. One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish eating man sitting next to her. One of these guys is eating fish. It's not this guy, because it resembles his spouse. It's either this guy or this guy who's eating fish. I think it's this guy. Which means that she's eating this because it resembles him. Let me see. Uh. Okay. I think. The, does this count as sitting next to? This is another weird phrasing thing that I'm a little iffy on. Okay, so... This guy's not eating chicken. Which is good, and he's... Only one person's eating something that resembles themselves, so he could be eating... Either... This, this, or this. I have to look at these rules over and over and over again. The hand plate should be next to the banana split. Okay. So she's not eating herself. <laughs> uh, this could be like this. And he's the guy who's eating that. And if that's the case, then this? Let's see if this like matches the rule set. Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. Okay. Nope, he's not eating chicken. She's not eating sundae. He's not eating ham. She's not eating onion. She's not eating hamburger. He's not eating fish. Okay, that follows that rule. One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish eating man sitting next to her. Yep. He's sitting next to her. He's an onion. He's eating fish. That follows, I think. Only one patron resembles his or her meal, which is true. Only banana split man. The hand plate should be set down next to the banana split, which is also true. Okay. Maybe I have this. Maybe. Whew. I done did it. Yay. Thank you. I didn't even have to draw that one out very much. I just had to like write down one thing to remind me of that the place to start kind of <laughs> how. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'm glad that that grammatical phrasing was correct. And it was not, it was saying it wasn't her husband because yeah, she can't eat something that looks like her husband. God, <laughs> what, a, what a goofy puzzle. That wasn't so tough. Yeah, I guess not. Could I have a bit more of your time, ma'am? In a banana split, please. Uh, goodbye, actually. <laughs> Hello, Sheriff. Agent Taylor, good. You're here. I love his voice. Listen, I wanted to ask you... No time. I got a hunch about the factory. I got security camera records here of people leaving the factory. Hmm. 
It'd be helpful to talk with whoever left last. Exactly what I was thinking. I mixed up the photos so we can <laughs> put them back in the right order. What? Why would Why you, do you do that? that? You know how it is. No, I don't. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> I love that explanation. You know how it is. <laughs> Okay, the order which the factory workers left. Oh, footprints! Unless it snowed, which would suck. I mean, right, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm scared this is too easy. This is like super easy and I'm scared. Yeah, that guy left. He left footprints. This guy left. Left with the car and this guy left. Right? You know how it is. Okay. I was like... Sus I was suspicious at how easy that was. Lobster? Mike Lobb. <laughs> you think he might have had something to do with the accident? Probably. Why don't you head out to the ice fishing huts on Lake Sven's? I will. He's not working. He's usually there trying to dead stick a lunker. Dead God. stick a lunker. Wait, do what to a what? <laughs> Catch some fish. He's got himself a bright orange vest. Can't miss him. Anyway, Bobster's back, there, baby. Bobster's back. Woods. But you'll have to hoof it from there. What do you know about Glory Davner? Foreman's wife. Poor girl, she's a sweet kid. Her family has lived in this town for generations. Maybe she has something to do with the accident. That's ridiculous. It could be an insurance. Now you just leave poor Glory alone. She's having a hard enough time without you getting all accusatory. What was the name of the factory worker I'm looking for? The last guy to leave the factory was Mike Bobster. Lobb. Drive out to Sesame Wood. Mm hmm Well, you already told me that. You betcha. You betcha. I can talk to these people. Hello, gentlemen. A bit early for a lunch break, isn't it? Fuck you, so cop. The factory comes again. <laughs> Daryl and I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, me and Daryl got nowhere else to go. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Daryl and Daryl. You don't mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, yeah. As soon as I get these bugs back in place. What? Why do you have bugs in a diner? You gonna help or not? <laughs> you gonna help or not? Oh my god. Insect collection. Box them back up again by stringing lines between adjoining points. Keeping these rules in mind. Okay. Fewest number of lines to draw a box as possible. A box can be any size, but it must be four-sided, obviously. Bugs of the same kind can share a box. Each green grasshopper needs three squares of territory. Each one to the pink ones need two. Okay. Well, I can always check those. No reason to write it down. Puzzles! Here we go. Um. Well, this is gonna get a little complicated. Hmm, I don't think I'm doing that right. They can share a box, so I'm being a little silly here. Just reset. <laughs> oh, this is hard. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, okay. That's difficult. Let's start here. Oh, this is a doozy. Must be four sided, so it can't go like L around anything. Hmm. Okay, this is hard. It's a little hard. Gotta hide the chat. Three squares, huh? What if it's something like that? I don't think I'm allowed to do that. That's more than four sides, isn't it? They can be in... Wait a minute. I mean, they can be together. Three squares of territory. Each of them, so... Yeah, okay, this is hard. The rest of the stream might be this. <laughs> All of these buggies can be together if they want it to be together. You want to be together. See, like, this looks good at first, but it isn't, <laughs> I don't think. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, that's the shitty thing right here. This area, this le this right side of this is a nightmare. Three. And two. Yikes. And it has to be boxes. Mm-hmm. Man! The fuck? <laughs> this is really hard. Can I do a hint? Actually, yeah. No fewer than five boxes. Well, that's not my problem. <laughs> Alright, well, okay. That's a good start. Okay, so we know that to be true. Hey. This part I don't get, though. Hmm. This one is wicked hard. Oh my god, if only this fucker was here. <laughs> like, things would be fine. <laughs> oh, crap. Because they have to be boxes. Brutal. These guys could be... this. Uh, yeah, yeah, that could that could happen. That could happen. One, two, three, four, five. I think this works. I just need part of the solution. Two and two and two and two and one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. Oh. On the edge of my seat. Bring the chat back up. I 
That's uh, hard. <laughs> I miss Weggy's news. Oh, an internship. Okay. Hope they pay you. It doesn't even like explain. It's just like you did it. <laughs> Look at that. He did it. Yes. Now, will you answer my questions? Sure. Fire him at me. Fire him at me. You two are employed at the factory. Would you say it's a safe place to work? Well, safe as any other place, I guess. Yeah, except the new wing is haunted. <laughs> no, it isn't. You better quit listening to those hippies. Why do you think the new wing is haunted? When the factory expanded, we built a new wing. A bunch of locals got angry. We had to clear out part of the forest to do it. The forest. Because spirits live in the forest. <laughs> forest. You forest. You something about spirits in the forest. Really? Depends on who you ask. You won't see me out in the woods after sundown. Well, me neither. But there ain't no spirits. Do you guys know what happened to the foreman? Yeah, the lobster bit him. Shut up, Daryl. What do you mean a lobster bit him? <laughs> he means Mike Lob. Mike and Isaac didn't get along all the time. Had a little bit of a fight. That's because Isaac thought he was smarter than all of us floor guys. Well, he probably is. No, he ain't. Just because he's a college boy don't make him smart. What do you know about the guy fixing the sign outside? Randall Scruffman. Weird guy. Randall Scruffman. Talk to him. Yeah, but he sure picked the right line of work. He's going to be employed forever. Stuff always needs fixing. I think he looks extra hard for stuff to fix around here. Yeah, so he can be close to glory. She's the waitress here. Sweeter than moose milk in the morning. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Thanks, gentlemen. Anytime. Thanks for the moose milk. Uh knowledge Heathers with the FBI <laughs> Sir, you seem stressed. Do you know something about the factory you'd like to let me in on? I don't know anything. Sir, it's against the law to withhold information or lie to a federal agent. <laughs> yeah, I'm into some stuff. <laughs> I'm into some stuff. So, what's your name? Steve <laughs> Sir, I'm here about the factory. If you've got nothing to do with it, then however you spend your time doesn't concern me. He's into stuff, There's though. There's nothing you can tell me about the factory. I don't co-mingle. You haven't heard about Sorry. anything suspicious going on, have you? Nothing more than usual. What stuff are you into? <laughs> I airlift wooden gnomes out of Scoggins. <gasps> You're under arrest. To where? Why? How? Black market trinket rings. Big money. Couldn't you just use the mail? <laughs> <laughs> Learner Steve trains birds to transport freight. Nice shipment just departed, but Steve forgot to note the quantity. Can you determine the number of gnomes? Each type of bird has a weight limit. <laughs> Each bird shown is carrying the maximum amount that it can. Birds may team up on heavy loads, each carrying what he can. Freight must be balanced evenly between a bird's two legs. Oh god. Okay. Okay, alright. This is gonna be a hard one because it's a little bit of math and stuff. Okay, well... Shit. <laughs> okay, so we've got a great clue right here. This clue being that these birds can carry two. This one, therefore, <laughs> is probably carrying one. How do you wait? What was it? The total amount? Total amount of gnomes? Oh, okay. Total amount of gnomes. Okay. Uh, is that a fan art? <laughs> Chat, I'm turning this car around. I'm turning this stream around. <laughs> Sorry, I get steamed sometimes. I'm a steamed ham, aren't I? Uh, okay. 
Okay. So. Got blank. Got three. Got two. And he's just by himself, so whatever. I've got blank, blank, and blank. That sucks. Okay, but... Okay, we know that... Oh god, what if there's none in one of these things? That would be so hard. Um... Oh Jesus, what if there's none in one of these? This is gonna be the rest of the stream right here. Okay. Bluebird can hold two by itself. The weight is evenly distributed against both legs. That means it can hold one per leg. I should be thinking of this in legs, right? That seems like the logical thing to do. Because it needs to be divided by two no matter what. They only have two legs. Mm hmm. He's carrying what he can. This is so. <laughs> what a ridiculous prospect. Yeah, I don't think them carrying none is possible based on the rules. You're probably right about that. Okay. I need to hide the chat again. I'm sorry. So I can think in my own, my own head. Um. Okay, so... Hmm. The weight is evenly on two legs, so... That being said, I think that these bluebirds can carry two. And I think the big birds can carry four. Maybe? Well, that doesn't make a ton of sense, though, does it? Oh, no, wait. Yeah. I think it does. I think it does. Give me a second. Yeah. Okay. That one's two, and that one's one, and this one's one. Um... I think the first one has one in it, second one's three and two. Um, this one I think would be two and two. No, cause, oh, the middle one gets fucked up. Oh. I'm- I'm also assuming, because it should be assumed that all these gnomes weigh the same no matter what color their hat is. This middle part is where things get fucked up. This looked easy at first and now I'm like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> I don't know about this no more. Okay, but basically this is mirrored. Why am I overthinking this? Is this mirrored? It almost is. It is? It is. This has three in it, then. But the problem is with this package, because it has to be evenly distributed between both legs. That's what I don't understand. Because this would be perfect if that wasn't the case. That's fucked up. Is it? Maybe it's not. No, wait. <laughs> no, I think I understand this, actually. I think I'm just being, um, strange about this. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. So... We're looking- I think we're looking for the total number of gnomes here, right? That's the... The, the number of gnomes. Yeah. Total number of gnomes. Yeah. Okay, so this is one. This is three. This is two. This is four. This is three. This is one. I'm actually gonna use my calculator because I'm just so... I have no faith in my abilities. Mathematically, I'm gonna miscalculate. One plus three plus two plus 
four plus three plus one. Fourteen gnomes. Please. <laughs> Please, God. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, good. I'm doing it. I'm glad I'm hiding the chat during these. It's actually allowing me to think <laughs> without double guessing myself. Because I, I don't know why I take the take the chat as like a weird authority figure on my uh, way of thinking. I think I just think differently than the chat does. Another puzzle solved. <laughs> Goodbye, oh, sir. Out of oh God, another one. Anything else you want to tell me about these birds? They're smart. I once saw a black-bellied whistling duck open a car door and steal a cream cheese Danish. <laughs> wow. Wow! Uh, his order of gnomes ready to ship. Here come his AV mail carriers. Oh, great. Draw lines to attach the freight to the bird legs. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, a duck is to her leg. Owl is. 1.5 per leg, so three per owl. Unless they're missing a leg. Bluebird. One per leg. They could team up. They must be balanced evenly. Lines can't cross. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is just... It's the same puzzle, but harder, because you have to draw the lines instead of count. That is really difficult. So given that the lines can't cross. Um I can do I can do three. Hmm. Oh. Well. So two per leg. Two per leg. Al can do three. There's three left. Al can just handle that. One leggy. One leggy. Um. Two per leg. Two per leg. And I think there's one and one. There's two. Then one and one. I think I solved it. Right? Duck is two per leg, so let's say it's these two and these two. Bluebird is one per leg, and he's got both legs working here. So this and this. Next bl bluebird is these two. Got three for the owl and two and two. I did it. That one was easier. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna be shocked if it said rejected. I was gonna be like, oh no! <laughs> Thought I comprehended that. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Cool. How? How did he train these birds? <laughs> well, wow, that wasn't so hard. I fucking fully comprehended that shit. Got more bird shit to do. I'm, I'm in the bird mood. Thanks, gentlemen. Anytime. Could I have a bit? Sure. Okay. Excuse me, Sheriff. Bob, yeah, we're helping a smuggler. That's uh kind of ridiculous. Is there anything I should know about the Sassamy Woods? Well, they've got the odd Wolverine in them. <laughs> what? But they're probably the X-Men. We're real close to Canada up here. And he's Canadian. Do you get my joke? <laughs> I better get back to it. You betcha. Bye. I love you. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I'm wasting so much money solving puzzles. Oh man. This game is great, and I have to leave and go to work, and I'm sad. Because I feel like my brain's finally warmed up <laughs> after an hour and a half. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. Um, I might not have work later. I wouldn't mind streaming more of this, because I like it a lot. And I think I'm gonna stream, like, regardless, I think I'm probably gonna stream sometime tomorrow, because, uh... 
I ended up canceling my stream on Tuesday due to a wicked headache that I had that didn't go away for like hours. It was terrible. Um, but yeah, I don't have work at all tomorrow, so that could be like a stream thing that we do regardless. But yeah, I hope to play more of this. I like it a lot. Sorry, I got a little stressy. I got a little steamy. Steamed hams at the chat. My bad. <laughs> These things happen when I get puzzle frustrated and I need to stow that shit, honestly. Call me out. <laughs> but, oh no, Blaze couldn't finish his fan art. No! Well, I'm going to be streaming this again really soon, so just pol polish it up. You can post it next time. I will almost certainly see you for some other puzzle uh, agent stream. Unless you only need, like, two more lines to throw on that bitch. <laughs> it's almost good to go. Um. Oh, preview. Previews are cool. <laughs> I can do that for show. Um. Yeah, I like this game a lot, though. It's good. It's so cute. Like, oh my god. It's super cute. Speaking of super cute. Here's a preview. Oh my god. It's so tiny. Enhance. <laughs> oh, it's really cute. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you already, Please go. It's adorable. I will see you guys soonish. Laterish. Bye.